Good morning, boys and girls. <laughs> and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenru, and today we're playing Muscovy in Europe Universe Alice 4. Oh my goodness. Am I streaming tomorrow? Yes, of course. Uh, I stream every weekend. It shall be glorious. And we actually have 14 units there. Nice. We have 14 in both. Oh, nice. So we're taking attrition, which is not nice. But if they want to come attack me here, I got a lot of dudes to back me up. Cool. Oh, I think he's running to Olinets. Yeah, he is. But uh, we'll be gone by then, so that's fine. And I assume if he attacks me, Norway would help, right? Right, Norway? Right, Norway? He's like, um... Sure, uh, yeah. Toaster, toaster Strudel and all that stuff. Yeah. Toaster Strudel, you, you little shit. I mean, I'm gonna go stand in Ladoga, and I'm assuming he's gonna attack me there. And Norway, you better fucking help. You know what? I'm gonna bring an army up just to help, just to be sure. Because Norway may not help. Who knows? He is coming on in in a couple weeks. Norway. Yeah, it, it only takes eight days to get there. So Norway, you you better fucking come. If you don't come by uh, January thirtieth, I'm gonna move. Oh, Norway, you little cunt fucker, you're not gonna come, are ya? Nope. You suck, Norway. So now we're gonna leave. <laughs> we're just gonna leave. Fuck you, Norway. Dumbass, Norway. Now, if we move to attack him, will Norway help? Nope. Nope. Alright, he's just gonna go invade Sweden. That's fine. Nope, now he's coming back. Alright. Well, if you want to attack... No, he doesn't want... He wants to go around Norway's army and fight mine. Because I'm not westernized yet. That's what's going on. He wants to fight the non-westernized little sack of shit. What a jerk. Random wars. So hopefully he'll come attack me in Twer. That would be nice. And we can have a big old Royal Rumble in Twer. Can I hit the button yet? Yeah! Look at that stability up to negative two. Doesn't do me any good, but we'll hit it anyway. Okay, now he's going around. God damn it. I thought I had two leaders. Let's go ahead and die. So let's make our leader into um, a general. Because our next leader, oh my god, he has level 6 admin. It showed he was coming down to Kal Kaluga. God damn it, stupid graphics tricking me. We're doing alright though. Yeah, he's already retreating. Now the question is how far will he retreat? He'll probably go, I don't know, a million tiles away. Oh yeah, he's actually going straight to Moscow. Interesting. Rolling zeros. That's a good start. <laughs> Rolling zeros on Shenzhen. Out, put you in the army that actually is fresh. There you go.
Oh, he's still shatter retreating. Damn it. You should not be able to shatter retreat through enemy lands, but you're doing it anyway. Because you think you're a boss. Alright, you can just go stand in... I don't care. Bellozera. Whatever. Um, mercenaries. Go sit in Calm. And regular armies. Go sit in Moscow. It's all good, bro. All good in the hood, dog. Ottomans and extra trapsend, okay. They like us again. They took us off of rival status. Good. They now have Castile, Timurids, and the Mamluks. You have not met the Timurids yet. Pretty sure I have. There they are. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, tempted to set uh, set the Ottomans as a rival. So tempted, but they are so freaking OP right now. 58,000 troops. I think we'll go for the Timurids first. Uh, I don't think I need Poland. I certainly don't need the Livonian Order because they're broken. Let's put the Timurids in there. Timmies? Timmies! There you go. Now we should start getting... Yeah, see, now it says enemy of enemy zero. But we weren't getting that enemy of enemy zero with anyone when we set the, the uh, Livonian order. And we should have, we just weren't. It was broken. So hopefully that army of Austria will run all the way back to mainland Austria. Right? That'd be awesome. Uh, loose stability? No. Fight people in Torzok. I can fight people in Torzok. Where the hell is Torzok? Torzok. I don't even know. There it is. You guys are trashed. I'll take the you guys up there. <laughs> the you guys. Hey, it's the you guys. Rebels mission? Yeah, but we already have a mission. <laughs> Did they change the Hunt Rebels mission? I cannot believe how freaking overpowered... Well, not overpowered. I cannot believe how freaking awesome the Hunt Rebels mission was. Now, here's a poor decision by the AI. So, Austria has an army of 11 troops here. And Denmark has an army of 16 troops here. And Denmark has three guys here, I'm sorry, four guys here that are getting their asses handed to them on a plate. And they're not even reacting. They're like, nope, it's cool. Those 4,000 guys can go eat a dick. That's essentially what Denmark's saying. They're like, we don't care about those guys. They should. If they took this army out of Stiermark and came down here and whooped Austria's ass, they could destroy Austria's army entirely. But they're not going to do that because the AI seems a little derpy. Derpy AI on Shen plays... Wow, we have such a long way to go on Novgorod. That is painful. Oh, look at that. They chased away... They chased away Denmark's army. Alright, I think now is the time to get a separate piece. We don't have a diplomat. Right. <laughs> Never mind. Because from here, it's just going to be downhill. Right? Unless they group up all their armies and actually go take out that stack. But the AI just seems really bad at getting out of wars. You know, there's a good time and a bad time to get out of wars. The AI usually just never gets out of wars. There's, they're lazy. See, now they don't even have enough troops to fight them. And that seems dumb. That seems real dumb. Real dumb. Oh well.
Austrian manpower? I'm sure it's good. They have 41,000 manpower. They're pretty good on manpower. Alright, what's the peace offer? White peace. Um, I would be tempted... Yeah, I think we're gonna take it. Sorry, Denmark. I know you're gonna be upset about that, but... Not my problem. Improved fort defense. No, I don't want improved fort defense. Go away. Alright, let's put the speed all the way up. Will you fuckers get out of Novgorod, please? Oh my god. They're just standing there. Nora, you want access. Fine. Get your damn troops out of my land. Freaking AI is so terrible at <laughs> moving troops. Okay, stop funding. Poor Denmark. Crying in their Cheerios. Oh, they left the war. And yeah, now... Well... <laughs> lose prestige or lose stability we'll lose, of course we'll just lose the damn prestige we're not going to lose stability by clicking a button are you crazy Yeah, we have a decent treasury. Alright, Twer is gone. Goodbye, Twer. Do I really need your troops? Uh, I guess they don't hurt. Sure. You keep your dumbass troops. That's one less vassal to deal with, right? Why don't we start kissing the Ottoman's ass? I mean, more than we've done previously. Denmark have accepted peace with Austria. The Hansa will cede Hamburg and Stade to Denmark. Okay, so Denmark got bigger. Austria will pay 108 ducats. So now Austria is down to peace. Okay. Lose stability or lose 5 prestige? Well, that's a difficult choice, let me tell you. Back on Hunt Rebels. Ah, relations with Sweden are not great. I don't know why Reckland going to be. That's fine. Not really going to worry too much about Norway. I think Sweden's going to be a much better target. Man, why can't I fund Rebels in Lithuania? It doesn't make any sense. Lose legitimacy and military power or lose stability. Well, goodbye legitimacy. Man, we have bad legitimacy. <laughs> oh, man. I'm thinking we might even have to switch down to this clown just to lower our revolt risk because our revolt risk is going to be super high. What's it at right now? Let me check real quick. Revolt risk. It's getting bad. Yeah, no, I'm going to switch it over. As much as I hate to do it. We're deliberately not gaining our points quickly just to avoid like billions of revolts. But that does help. We're now in deep green. Even though we keep getting rebels out there. Those idiots. Ah, oh, we hate you, Muscoe. 
You annexed us, therefore you are bad. You are mean. You are terrible. Terrible. No, oh, we can actually hit some buttons now. What is this? Time to hit buttons. Church taxes. Uh, revolt risk goes up. Tax goes up. Nope. Revolt risk goes up. Mystery sink goes up. Nope. <laughs> wow. So this guy, the theologian, he lowers revolt risk by three, but he also allows you to hit two buttons that increase the revolt risk by two. What a devious plan. His name is Seaman. It certainly is. His name is Seaman. You don't seem bothered by his name being Seaman. Yes, stability is admin points. It costs us 283 admin points to get stability up. It's very expensive. And the reason it's expensive is because we are in the process of westernizing. So we get wonderful modifiers. I guess it doesn't show up there. Maybe it shows up in triggered modifiers? Nope. Well, we get a hidden modifier then. It's just called westernizing and it makes stability cost a lot more. It says western influence is plus 200 percent to the cost of stability so it costs three times as much as it normally would very expensive stability wow <laughs> it's gonna be a long time before we can integrate Novgorod. Wow. <laughs> wow. Stupid Merchant Republic. We can't get a plus 25 marriage with them either. So that's going to take a while. In fact, it's going to take so long, I'm going to cancel that damn mission. And we'll just try to hope to get the um, Kill the Rebels mission, because that one's awesome. <laughs> uh. Ooh, manpower or ducats? We'll lose the ducats. We have lots of ducats, not much manpower. You're saying why not keep stability at negative three, hoard up as many admin points as you can, and the whole time you can just take all those negative stability events rather than taking the penalties. You're right, that would be a much better way of doing it. But we didn't. <laughs> but we didn't. <laughs> uh, who should we kissy kissy? Let's kissy kissy Denmark for a while because we pissed them off. I feel sad that we pissed them off. We could even take um, better relations over time. Could even build some buildings, damn. Eh, might as well. What else are we going to do? Trying to build buildings, not click on units. Thank you. Damn it. I'm trying to build buildings, not click on units. Stupid game. There we go. Hey, we spent all of our money. Congratulations. And we have a free diplomat. Oof. We're not going to next Riazan anytime soon, so we'll just leave them alone. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Who do we want to ally with in Europe? Hmm. Hungary, maybe? I mean, they're pretty crappy as an ally, but... Ukraine! Oh, that's right, we wanted to vassalize Ukraine. I forgot about that shit. Duh.
It's so peaceful. This is very much like our like our Ceylon westernization. Just nothing really happening. People just relaxing, putting their feet up, enjoying life. Wow, 133 aggressive expansion penalty, 88 the next vassal penalty. Wow. There is a better relations over time guy, but he is expensive. Oof. I'm tempted though. <laughs> just to get some better frickin' relations. The stats of the Monarch are pretty crappy. He's 2-1-1. Very crappy. His air is pretty good, 6-3-3. Three, three. Yeah, Ivan's next in line. He's not the leader right now. Yep. Yep. Still Daddy Yuri the second. That the next vassal penalty is going away so slowly. Oh, there's a stability cost advisor available? Nope. It'd be nice if there was, but there's not. Unfortunately. Oh, there is. You are right. I'm an idiot. Let's do that and hit the button. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see him. Thank you. Thank you so much for pointing that out. I'm an idiot. How's Ukraine liking us? Oh, they like us a lot. We're too far away to get them as a vassal, but otherwise, we can totally do it. And then, uh, anytime we go to war down here, we can just make them spit out lands to, to them. Look at all those lands that, that Ukraine could have. It would be so nice to have as a vassal. I think we're going to do that. We're going to try to do that, but... We are out of time for today, so thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time, where we will try to finish westernizing in the land of Muscovy. See you then. Have a good day. <laughs>